Okay, well, I uh, hit Control Alt Delete. It wouldn't work, so uh, I had to power, hard set it down. So I turned it on once, and it started booting into Windows. So turn it on again, and I'm gonna hit. What am I gonna hit? F12, I think. Tells you, but it doesn't wait long enough for you to really. Yeah, I want to go into BIOS. Now oh, F2. 12 might have worked. Um, actually, I don't need. To, yeah, see, it, it's only allowing me to go into Windows. So, is there a way I can do this? I said I couldn't hit Control Alt Delete with one hand, but guess what? I can if I do it on the right side of the keyboard. Okay, now I want to hit F2 because I'm going to have to go into BIOS. So I'm get it to uh, hitting it a little early. 11 is for boot menu, but I don't think it's not seeing. I can see, tell that it, if it was seeing my stick, my USB, I mean my SD card and my USB adapter, it would go ahead and boot to it. Let's see. And uh, I've had this problem with this machine before. So I'm going to. There's first boot device CD. HD. Okay. This is, yeah, I'm not even thinking of the same BIOS that I was thinking of. I don't remember which. I'm always in and out. Uh, I'm, I'm not in and out of them every day, so I forget. But I'm in and out of so many different ones, so. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not, it's not seeing. It's not even seeing my old device right now. Going to USB configuration. That's all good. Well, look at that. Oh, USB. No, yeah, USB remote power on. No, I don't want that. Or remote mouse. Let's see, tweaker. Oh, yeah, I forgot it had that. I got it on overclock on auto mode, though. I never did want to try. Uh, I didn't want to have trouble with it. It's Well, it's supposedly overclocking it, but I've never, I've always been interested in overclocking, but Never got never got into it enough to learn it manually. Ever since back when you had to do it manually. Okay, so here's my problem. It's not even seeing it. So I can't remember. Oh, I'm got my thing off the screen. Okay, I'm just gonna say. Save changes and exit, and I'm pretty sure it's going to try to go into Windows. I don't want it going into Windows because um, if you know, I don't want those viruses. If there's any still, if there's any still left to spread, F11. Let's try that if I can see it. Yeah, see, it's not seeing it at all. That happens. I, I forgot. Of course, I didn't have any choice when it was hung up like that, but it, it'll it it'll not see it when you hard shut it down like that on this machine. So, enter to select boot device. Oops, <laughs> I just selected the hard drive, didn't it? Making a video and doing all that distracts me. Huh, you know, Windows may be broke. I kind of wondered if all the last several scans I've done, and, and I, I haven't booted into Windows on purpose because I didn't want to. Uh, of course, it may just be doing this because, uh, but it's saying, you know, it went straight in. It didn't go to Windows this time. Well, I, I stopped. I interrupted it. It was I saw the Windows logo, so it's probably not broke, yeah. And I hard shut it down, so it would probably boot if I said start Windows normally. 
but if it's broke, then probably end up having to reformat it because it's too, too much. Usually, the, most of the time, that uh, Windows repair doesn't even work. Um, so, okay, I'm going to hard shut it down again. And uh, everything's in my way here. Take this out. Turn it on. Oh. And um, I'm going to hit 11, F11 again when it comes up. Of course, it's not going to see that. Now I'm going to shut it down again. can't remember how I've got it to I'm gonna put it in a different USB slot this time turn it back on sometimes it'll make it see it see them not always I'm gonna just leave it alone see if it no let's go ahead and hit F11 that way I'll know because I don't want it trying windows it's what's that? Oh, F6 is for flash, flashing the God, come here. I remember the last time this happened, I tried for I think it was this machine. I tried for 20 30 minutes and I wouldn't uh, recognize it again. I think I ended up putting in one of my over USB sticks over there in it and it recognized that. And then after that, it recognized it or something odd like that. But uh, you're kind of stuck when you can't get it to. Uh, I'm gonna hit escape boot to f defaults just to see because maybe that would throw it back to looking for that USBs nope didn't work okay I could probably unplug the machine and it might do it but that's hard to get to you've seen my you saw my rat's nest down there that's the bottom of my rack where it's at and the only way that I can get to that machine is from the left side. See that rack is that tall with all my stuff in it. It's about six foot, a little over six foot tall. It's actually a computer rack out of a telecommunicate telco office, telecommunications office for the phone. I used to work installing in phone company central offices. And this one was being thrown away. But anyway, I have to go around to that side and reach around there to unplug that and of course it's dusty back there <coughs> and I <coughs> just don't feel like doing it <coughs> so I'm going to stop the video and figure this out because if I stop and think maybe I'll figure out an easy way to do it alright bye